Hi, and welcome to another video on assisted orchestration with OrcIdea. Today we're discussing static orchestration. Today's tutorial is, in part, based on the static orchestration tutorial. Have a look in extras, orcidea.overview, tutorial number one, static orchestration. These are extremely well-written tutorials, and these videos and Max patches are meant to complement one another, so you might also want to familiarize yourself with the concepts outlined there. Now before our quick start guide to static orchestration, let's lay some groundwork. These tutorials continually refer to some frequently recurring concepts. Segments, targets, solutions, static versus dynamic orchestrations. Let's break these down. A target is simply the sound you want to orchestrate. A solution is the instrumental approximation of a target, calculated by OrcIdea. Solutions represent the most fit combinations of notes for each instrument in your orchestra, or the sum of each of their timbres, together forming an instrumental resynthesis of your original target sound. OrcIdea provides its solutions as sound files and as music notation. This tutorial will focus on static orchestration. The next one will be on dynamic. By static, we essentially mean the orchestration of a steady state sound, or a relatively stable sound event, whose spectrum morphology doesn't change much over the course of its duration. Put another way, a sound that doesn't seem to move very much. A static orchestration contains one solution, or set of solutions, a one-to-one -one match between the target sound and its instrumental approximation. Ultimately, this is one calculated solution in exchange for one stable target sound. Dynamic orchestrations, on the other hand, consist of many concatenated static orchestrations chained together one after another to collectively reproduce the naturally evolving character of most sounds. Segments are smaller chunks of your target audio stream. Each of these segments is treated as a static orchestration. In static, there's only one of these segments, whereas in dynamic there are many such chunks of sound, which are individually orchestrated and concatenated together. Depending on how you set certain parameters, the OrcIdea system may generate many possible solutions for a given segment of audio. Now let's get started. You can already sort of see here that the orcidea.solve object will be calculating our solutions. In a moment, we'll drop our target sound file here. First, I'm going to preload a database for the tiny SOL sample library that comes packaged with orcidea. Now for simplicity, I just copied this abstraction out of the static tutorial patch called orcidea.db.tinySOL which automatically sets one of the databases for us. SOL stands for Studio Online. When I drop my target, the path to this database will be set. A list of instruments will then be sent to orcidea.solve's middle inlet. I'll also send the target sounds path into a max buffer so that we can listen back. And finally, the target gets sent into the hot inlet, initializing everything. On the other side of this, a multi-slider will show us the progress of the calculation. A new audio file will be generated and sent into a solution buffer. And finally, the orcidea.solution.toRoll external will fill this bach.roll object with our symbolic orchestral solution. For our first target, we'll use this recording of a metal pan. And now, all we have to do is drag and drop our target sound onto our live.drop. So as you can see, we've now got audio buffers filled with our original target, plus an audio file generated by orcidea.solve, which we've called the solution. Hey, not bad. So, congrats on your first Hello World static orchestration.